What's going on everybody? This is Cody, the Home Theater Hobbyist, and today I am in Scarsdale's, New York. Scarsdale? Scarsdale, New York. Yeah. Scarsdale, New York with Mr. Robert Zahn, the owner of Value Electronics. This is basically one of our meccas as far as TVs are concerned because he does the TV shootout every yes. year. And I have been following the TV shootout since the days of plasma, looking to figure out what's the best TV, what's the second runner up, because that might be more affordable for my budget or your budget or whatever. So thank you, Robert, for doing that. We really appreciate it. Um, Thank you, Cody, Just and tell. thanks thanks for bringing me on your channel yeah, today, and yeah. thanks to all the members watching here today. Yeah. So this is the biggest upgrade year we've seen in a long time, mm -hmm. and 2021 was a major upgrade year. Mm -hmm. So it's I've never seen two years back to back mm -hmm. where we get such big advancements in video display technology, but we are again this year with Quantum Dot OLED. Mm -hmm. taking the very best filtering, color filtering technology, quantum dots, integrating it with an emissive display, the OLED emissive display, mm -hmm. to leapfrog in technology of color saturation, color volume, color accuracy, peak lumens, mm -hmm. to see images like we've never seen them before. Excellent. Well, LCD wasn't sleeping while this happened. No. And now we have a major advancement from Sony mm -hmm. on a new mini LED television that we're sitting in front of here, the X95K, which is Sony's flagship mm -hmm. 4K HDR LCD TV, for lack of a better way of describing it. It is more technically described as a mini LED. Mm -hmm. This mini LED is different than all other mini LEDs we've seen in the past. It's a new 2022 mini LED panel that is much brighter, has more mini LEDs, they're smaller, it has more local dimming zones, and it can deliver a much blacker deep lumens, much, much deeper blacks. They've also integrated it with their famous backlight master drive that we so dearly loved in the past when Sony came out with it. So we have a new brighter and blacker mini LED LCD panel with Sony's famous backlight master drive and their second generation of the XR video processor that's specifically tuned to take advantage of all the new technology advancements of the higher peak lumens, of the uh, bigger color palette that we have and um, they've really developed this to be a world-class picture. It doesn't have any of the inherent LCD anomalies that we see of a glow around bright objects. There's so many local dimming zones. It's managed the contrast and the local dimming is managed so expertly with the backlight master drive and the XR processor mm -hmm. that it performs like an emissive display. Mm -hmm. It doesn't perform like an LCD that we're familiar with. Um, I'm very excited for this. The higher peak lumens, which obviously helps in a high ambient light environment, is more important where it supports HDR content, where you have the bigger dynamic range so you don't have to compress it, the signal as much, mm -hmm. so you can see the full color volume, 100% color volume, you can see the full dynamic tonal range with more steps of gradation. It has more detail in the image. We had a customer walk in the store yesterday who looked at the TV and immediately said, 3D is back without glasses? That was, he couldn't <laughs> believe it. He thought he was looking at a 3D TV. And that's because it has so much depth. And that depth, that dimensional look, gives it a natural 3D look. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, this is a torture test for all LCD, mini LED TVs. Because on all other TVs, you'll see a glow around these bright objects with the dark background. Here we have near OLED blacks with none of that inherent glow. Mm -hmm. Pretty remarkable to see an emissive display picture quality from an LCD but mini LED backlit TV. So uh, this, is, this is a serious upgrade. The uh, processing upgrade was focused on the exploiting all of the advantages of the higher peak lumens, the bigger color palette, uh, but they also improved motion resolution and they improved scaling. Scaling is the up conversion of low resolution content like cable. This processor has extra memory on it, on it and that memory is dedicated to upscaling and processing 
so it looks like it's native 4K HDR. It just cleans up all the anomalies of compression artifacts mm -hmm. and um, really does a good job with low resolution cable. Also does a great job, as I was mentioning, with cable, with uh, motion resolution has been enhanced this year as well. So we have a bigger color palette, we have more saturated colors, we have better color volume, we have a higher peak lumens, we have better blacks, we have better processing. This is the biggest upgrade uh, mini LED for this year. And uh, it's, it's world-class quality. We're using test patterns that are from various other well-known test patterns. So if you see it saying LG in the upper right-hand corner or something, that's just because we're using an LG uh, test pattern here, or an LG content. Uh, but this is um, an emissive t look to this mini LED. It right. has that quality of, of an emissive technology, and it is a transmissive technology. So it's so great to see this kind of performance. It is not the first choice for gamers. It is the first choice for video quality, including gaming but it is not the gamer's first choice. Uh, we just learned that when you game and you have a variable refresh rate, mm -hmm. that you're gonna lose the benefits of all the HDR uh, tone mapping. So yeah. you do. there are a few things here that could be improved. Yes. Um, either, it could be improved, let's just say it like that. That's right. But otherwise, I mean, this looks fantastic. Um, I had the opportunity to see this with the, um, Sony A95K that's here in the store. That's right. Um, and I actually saw that content that you just watched uh, between the two, and yes. quite frankly, it looks really, really good. I know. There's still just a little bit of blooming on the edges, but it's not yes. like a traditional OLED, or excuse me, a traditional LCD TV at all. That's this right. mini LED uh, backlight is, is, is yeah, it's sharp. I like yeah. it. I like it. Yeah. So you know, Sony doesn't build the panels. They specialize in the processing, and mm -hmm. they are expert. They are genius at video processing. Mm -hmm. And that's what separates them when they're using the same panel from some of the other vendors, because they put so much engineering and planning into the processing to deliver the very best picture quality. Right. right. And uh, boy, they've done it this year. This is, this is world class. Right, right. So um, if you want to purchase this or anything else, I'll put some links to Value Electronics down in the description below so you can definitely check them out. Um, they are, I would say, the home theater type uh, retailer that we have here because that's what they focus on. They focus on TVs like this. Um, not saying that they don't focus on other TVs, but they want to definitely give us the TVs that we want to see. So that's why they have things like this, the A95K um, that they'll be getting, I guess, in a few weeks. That's right. Yeah, so the A95K will be here in a few weeks. So That's definitely right. use those links, check it out, and maybe by the time you're watching this, the A95K will be here, and you yes. can order that from them as well, and that's the QD OLED, by the way, um, right. from Sony. So it's super exciting. So thank you, Robert, so much for thank having you, us. Thank you, Cody. And, um, <laughs> and yeah, definitely check out those links. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give us a like. Yes. Uh, hit that subscription button and that notification bell. We'll talk to you next time. Thank you. Thank you, Cody, thank so you. much again. Thank All you the so very much. best. Yes. You bet. Yes. This is thank great. You. Looks fantastic.